Hello everyone, welcome back to Katie's Budgeting Life. I am Katie, and today we are going to be doing our September 16th budget breakdown. So we're just gonna go over the bills we're gonna pay um, and everything like that. You know what I noticed? This is white. It used to be orange. I don't know, I'm one of those people that like keeps the same things on my wrist and if I don't have it on, I feel like weird, but anyway. Um, no, my nails are not done. We're trying to save money, so I'm just gonna have to roll with it. Um, I'm trying to make it another paycheck. But, um, I hope you guys still watch. So, let me get my planner and we will break down my paycheck. Okay, so I have everything set up. So, this is the, um, the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Planner. I have said this, um, a few times. I do like this, however, I don't think I'm getting, um, the most use out of it. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be using this planner next year. I feel like I want to kind of maybe make one on my own to like customize with my budget, you know, and then like get it spiral, whatever from like, sta I don't know, from Staples or something. But anyway, that's besides the point. Okay, so um, what we're going to do first is go over our income. So between Phil and I, we made $55.65. And then we have child support for Mason. And my mom uh, doesn't pay us on this pay. She'll probably pay us with the next one. So that comes out to $5,740. So this line is for budgeting and this, like what you would budget. And then this is what your actual pay is. So like Phil just got a raise. I like, I really don't even know. I, I don't know. I have to really sit down and figure out what our actual budget is. Because we've never like... I've had an 80 hour paycheck, but I don't even think Phil really has had one. So I don't know what the normal amount is. So we're just gonna go with this right now. So 5740. So now we go down to our bills. Um, we have half of the mortgage, which is 775. One main is a new one. Um, we ended up, this is why I know I have to do my debt update, but we ended up condensing um, a lot of bills to make, um, anyway. We we got another loan, but we got rid of some credit cards. So that's three eighty eight. Um, Planet Fitness is twenty three. One of our other loans that we had is two seventy six. Geico is our car insurance, which is four hundred nine. That is uh, three cars and four drivers. That's not right. F three drivers, four cars. Uh, Direct TV one twenty five. Wells Fargo credit card is one forty seven. Walmart is twenty. First Financial is forty. Citibank is 82. Uh, Verizon is our cell phone. That's 120. Rachel, my sister, we pay her $100 a paycheck because she helped us get out of the whole CarMax ordeal. If you don't know what that is, um, go ahead and venture back onto our car fiasco with CarMax videos. Um, so we are paying her $2,300 back. I believe we're on like seven or eight. So we've given her like seven or $800 back. So I have to check that. Then we have Phil, which is my boyfriend. This is um, his, I believe his car payment was in here, gas, other obligations. And then this is for everybody that watched my last two videos since we got back from vacation. We had a very big unforeseen expense come up um, and it's time sensitive. So we have to get it done. I'm trying very hard to cash flow it and not let it impact what we have already achieved so i'm trying to just make my stuffings as minimal as possible right now and try to do this um try to cash flow it so we have to put a thousand dollars to the side i know it's it's hard with this situation because you want to like go in depth about what's going on but this really is something that i can't really advertise uh and put out there so um just support me and just be there for me you guys know that if i could talk to you about it i would so a thousand dollars for that so it comes out to five thousand twenty six dollars so when we subtract five thousand twenty six we get seven hundred and fourteen dollars left so then that's what we bring down into our wallet we did if you look we do have less um, amount in our envelopes because again we're trying to save money so Gas, um, we went from 240 to 225. Groceries, I believe we were up to like 365. We're down to 300. I really, really, really don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. I hope we can, because um, we're just trying to cut costs anywhere we can. 
Starbucks is 20, um, eating out is 30, and extra we have it down to 10. So that comes to 585. So we subtract 585 and we get $129 left. So then we bring that up to our sinking funds. When we have this minimal amount of money, we try to prioritize it um, you know, as much as we can. I know nails isn't a priority, but for my channel it is because this is just horrible. Um, so it, I did do money in there because I, I do have to get my nails done, but um, then we just do it based off of priorities, um, you know, health, HOA, the kids, emergency fund. And then that brings us down to 29. We're not going to be doing any extra debt right now. Um, that brings us to 29. And then I still want to try to put something in our savings. So um, we have $29 for that. So when you subtract it, you get $0, which what we try to, um, most budgeters try to show you is a zero base budget. So, um, as you can see, this is very different than my other stuffings. Uh, this is probably how it's gonna be for the rest of September and October, most likely probably the beginning of November too. But I'm hoping this can all be done and handled by um, the holidays. So if I could just keep please getting your support, your comments are so helpful to me. The ones that are like really pushing me and, you know, telling me we can get through this. You guys have no idea how amazing that is to hear. And you guys are just really pushing me. So that is going to finish up our budget breakdown for our September 16th paycheck. All right, guys, that was quick, simple to the point. Um, my next check is going or my next check. My next video is going to be our cash stuffing for this um, paycheck. Um, and then after that, I guess it'll be our savings. I know it's only $29, but guys, it just, I feel like even if you can put a dollar into your savings, make, you can make a video with it just to show your progress. So I am going to continue to do my savings challenge videos. If it's $5, if it's $500, I'm going to keep doing it because I just want to show the progress that, and to be honest, I go back and look at my videos and like when I know we're having a really tough time, I still try to find ways to save money. So this just keeps me going and I hope you guys can understand that. If you don't want to watch it, you know, you don't have to. But for the people that really are dedicated to my story, I know you guys are going to hop on and watch it no matter what. So you all are great. Um, all right, I'm going to stop rambling. So see you guys on the next video and please stay safe. Bye bye.